Hi guys, today I'm just going to quickly show you how to open one of these commercial kegs and use it for your own home brewing purposes. Uh, basically this one here is a standard uh, 50 litre keg that you will see used in most pubs and clubs and restaurants uh, around Australia. So CUB and uh, Tui's and whatnot would use this type of keg. Uh, anyway, as you can see, the, the only problem is uh, we can't get it open because obviously you need to get it open to get your homebrew in there. So we need to first take out, um, you'll see like a little a little leaf around here, like that, that little ring, it's like a washer which we have to take out. Uh, it's made of stainless steel, so what we're going to need is this called the screwdriver, this is just a cheap one from Bunny, and also a tungsten tip drill bit. So what you do is you first drill the holes in there and there um, with your one to two millimeter drill bit is the best. Uh, so as you see I've already made two little holes there, uh, that's going to enable me to get this nail and pry it out with. So I'm just going to get this nail, stick the end in that little hole I just drilled a few moments ago. Pry it out, uh, there we go, so it's just got the first bit out there like that, and beautiful, just pull that ring out, it's pretty straightforward, just throw that over there. Um, the next thing is we've got to take out this ball lock, and this is connected to the spear underneath, so we just lift it up like that first, uh, turn it about 30 degrees in a clockwise direction, you'll feel it hits another catch and we can't get it out, um, and then we've got to push down to get past the catch, and then keep turning like that and it will come the rest of the way out. See the uh, this whole piece like that. That's the spear, and then the top. That's the ball lock on top, which is the keg coupler, and then it will join in there. So now that we've got that out, you can see uh, we can pour our uh, homebrew mix in there and uh, yeah, a mash or whatever. Uh, pour that in there, and then uh, sterilise it and clean it out. Maybe wash it out with a high-pressure hose or something. And then the assembly. Is the same thing as so we'll just put that back in, and now we turn this anti-clockwise like that until it goes all the way down and then replace it, replace the, uh, the spring, this, this little clip in there like that. Okay, so once we've done that, as you can see, it was a little bit easier for me to do because I already took out the grommet. So that grommet just sits on the inside, so it's a little bit looser, but you'll find you probably have to pry, pry this out. It'll take a little bit more force. Um, anyway, that's, uh, that's how to do it. Now you can turn this keg into a home brewing keg. This particular one, I just got through a friend who had a microbrewery and it's shutting down, so I just bought it off him. We don't recommend you steal them though, so uh, we know a lot of people do that, but don't do that because we don't want to get CUB and Tui's offended because um, they're our friends. Alright, see you later guys. Bye.